All right, let's move on flying here, going through the onlay restoration. Same thing, Emacs, medium translucency or high translucency for onlays. First second of scanning, single most important second of your scan. So from the straight down occlusal view, okay? Everything else from there is just rotational based scanning like it is for every other scanner on the market. And it doesn't really matter the sequence, you just obviously have to overlap your scans in such a manner that the computer is able to use common points of interest between each individual image. And then, of course, you can do some HD snapshots. I usually take a few for each prep, kind of rotating ever so slightly, changing my angle. And these things are looking real hot clinically when I do that. All right, let's take a look at the model and see if there's any areas that I missed. Before you generate the model, you could look, or you could generate it and then hit the highlight low data area and look for like bluish areas. So you can see that blue area. It's not that critical of a spot, but I'm going to go ahead back and just fill it in. Here we go. Trying to rotate that camera kind of underneath the height contour of that mesial to sneak it into that crevice there. Those are always tricky areas to scan on any camera, right where that box corner is. Okay, that probably will do it. Let's take a quick peek and see how we got. Yeah, that already looks better. Good. Okay, same thing with the opposing. We're going to go ahead and <clears throat> look at that opposing and, and just scan the occlusal and the buckle. So let's do that now. Notice that when I'm scanning the type of on that little blue icon is um, highlighted underneath the camera icon on the bottom left screen. That's turning the brightness down a little bit. And that's the opposings are always like you're you definitely don't want to spend a lot of time on your opposing scans leaving a little bit of lingual data <coughs> focusing on one arch at a time until it goes in and going to the opposite arch okay <coughs> and that's ghosting and I always like to go a little bit I don't stop immediately after ghost in I keep going because it actually will um, keep finalizing that bite and adjusting it if you give it more information so it's kind of cool All right, once again, the little green icon is highlighted on the right middle of the screen, that tiny little green dot, and we have a good articulation of our bite. And if you were concerned about the accuracy of the articulation, you can go into the actual bite tab and look at the um, actual measurements and distances between the teeth and see if there's any over articulation or anything like that. You could even pre-mark the teeth with ribbon paper before you scan and you will be able to um, hopefully see those scans. All right, so next step is the actual orientation of the model, probably one of the more important steps. It affects everything from your design to your mill. Once again, just like the inlay, it's from a straight down occlusal view. Now we're marking the margin with paint. Paint is actually really good for onlays as well as inlays. Now we're defaulting to this move margin where you just literally quick, quickly click a little piece of the, the lasso and you can alter it. Once again, you can change the brightness in the scan tab and then go back to the margin tab and click the little color icon there and it will be whatever you left it in the scan tab. Now we're using trace. Trace is the one that is completely manual, it has no automatic feature whatsoever, so basically wherever you're clicking, the margin is going. And then you could go to the move margin and drag the rope. There is that bubble on the top right hand corner of the screen, which essentially lets you de define how much of that rope you want to drag. Okay, With inlays and onlays, you want to be very careful not to drag the rope over onto the occlusal surface, which would prevent seating of the restoration. Now we're going to try lasso. Lasso works really well for these types of restorations as well. We're going to that extra step as I showed you in the inlay where you circle and circumscribe the tooth. Once again, kind of an extra step for inlays and onlays. Then we're off to the plan tab where you use the three tools, um, basically rotate, resize, and move. And you're going to move that tooth to where it's a match of what you envision the whole entire tooth would look like. 
off to design and you're going to hit apply for autogenesis marginal ridges are the first thing that i mess with bead of ceramic using the dropper to boost those margin thicknesses and that's about it maybe a little crazy anatomy here just to make it look hot that is looking super nice check that proximal contact you want it to be that teal green hawaii oasis green look and then trimming it occlusal contacts hit the occlusal icon twice to turn it kind of semi-transparent and i'm just going back to the contact refinement tab and circling those occlusal marks knowing that in this instance the contact point is right along that margin which is not necessarily ideal but sometimes unavoidable clinically and would I go ahead and obliterate the remaining cusps to avoid that? Probably not. Off to the mill tab, removing that sprue using the compass to a position that you like, and then simulating this in detail mode first. And looking down from the underside, you should see a semi-distinct blue line all the way around the margin or almost coincident all the way around the margin. And here we could see the cement space on detail mode is wicked thin. I like it, but I'm going to go ahead and decrease my margin ramp. I like my margin ramp to be around the point 0.1 for inlays and onlays. And I'm going to boost my cement space a little bit for this onlay as well. You just don't want your margin ramp to be a lower value than your cement space. So if your margin ramp is 0 0.1, let's say 0 0.1, you don't want your cement gap to be less than 0 0.1 so you, that's why I boosted it up to like 0 0.2 extra 100 microns there so now I'm going to look again let's take a look and see what we got I like that better than what we had before less potential for the restoration to bind